Hi guys, it's me, Rob, and this is the first installment of Repurposed with Robbie Ray. Repurposed with Robbie Ray. Yum. On my resume, the first skill listed in the skills section is repurposing leftovers. If you're tired of leftovers, I'm tired of them too, and I'm here to help you figure out how to freshen them up a bit so you can enjoy them the next day or even the next week. As you guys know, I just released the fast food french fry face off. And in the fast food french fry face off. And I made a little bit of a faux pas when I was buying the french fries for the face-off and setting up the fries for the face-off. I thought it was a good idea to get a large fries from each of the five locations, Checkers, Popeyes, Burger King, Wendy's, and McDonald's, and I had way too many fries left over after I decided to only give one french fry to each participant. So, I got fries. I got hella fries. I got hella fries. So I'm gonna take these french fries and these two onion rings that I guarantee you came from the Burger King sack and I'm gonna put them in this blender and make fast food french fry mashed potatoes. I've got one cup of milk, three tablespoons of melted butter, a staple in any white home, mayonnaise, and some nice fresh parsley here. So I'm gonna start by taking my french fries, which I put in the oven for five to 10 minutes just to get them heated up a little bit. And I'm gonna put all of them in this blender. Put all of my french fries in here. And now I have fries left over from all five of the chains. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a really eclectic taste in my mouth when I finish it. You know what, I think I'm gonna put those fries and then just to get them softened up a bit, I'm gonna put about half of my milk in there. This is fucking atrocious. And now I'm gonna put the rest of my fries. And now because I have checkers and Popeyes french fries in here, I don't think that I wanna add any other seasonings to this other than the parsley because the checkers and the Popeyes really have that nice taste. And now I'm gonna put the three tablespoons of the melted butter in, and if you're not concerned about clogging your arteries, you can feel free to use more butter but I'm gonna stick with the three tablespoons and then again the other half of the milk. And now I'm gonna take the parsley and since we're using a blender today, I'm just gonna put the parsley pieces in whole. Um, and maybe I should have layered this a little better because I feel like I'm just gonna have a lot of parsley on top, but that's great. Ooh, that looks amazing. And now I'm gonna take my Stop and Shop brand light mayonnaise. I'm gonna just take two tablespoons of that to put it in there and the mayonnaise really gives any mashed potatoes really a nice creaminess, so I feel like it'll be great with these french fry mashed potatoes that we're doing today. So, with all that stuff in there, you know what, first I'm just gonna give it a, a little zhuzh, as Rachel Ray would say. And I'm gonna, ooh, I just got mayo on my finger. That's nice. Okay. And now I am going to there's so many options on a blender, and I don't know what the purpose of any of them are, like grate, blend, grind, liquefy, ice crush. Now, in theory, I want this to liquefy, but I think at first I'm just gonna do a quick ice crush on this. That way it kind of breaks those big fries up. Let's see. All right, I think I need to push it down a little bit. So I'll get my mayo spoon, just kind of get those in there. I think that this is going to be delicious. I mean, I really do, like genuinely with my entire heart of hearts, feel like this is going to be really yummy. I mean, just look at that. Look at that nice granulated potato on the end of my spoon there. This is going to be so yummy. I hope I didn't use too much milk. French. Did I just break the blender? Nope. <laughs> Yo, I almost pressed the button without putting the lid on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go ice crush again, I think. Oh. 
be surprised, gotta be. Alright, I think we're ready for the big finish. So now I gotta plate them. Alright. There's a high probability that this is gonna be something I just make in the future. You know, how am I gonna get the best angle? Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys! Oh my god, oh my god, you guys! Robbie Ray's gonna win the prize! Wow, there should be like a county fair competition for french fry mashed potatoes because I would fucking win it. Oh my god. This was brilliant. Oh, I really hope they taste good. Ooh. Like I said before, I did warm up the french fries a little bit before we did this so this isn't ice cold. I'm so excited right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's good. It's fucking good! Oh my god! This is probably so fattening though. Since it was made with french fries instead of... Oh my god. You can't go... Oh my god. Mmm. This is... Mm. Wow. I mean, you got the chunkiness of those hidden french fries in there and then this fine grainy kind of texture from the chopped up ones probably because they're not really potatoes but mmm and that parsley kind of just takes it up a notch as well like this is the best idea I've ever had I'm so glad I bought all those extra french fries oh my god this is delicious Step into this oh, tasting area. Step it's into, like tuna fish. Step into the tasting area. I'll feed it to you. Just Doesn't it? Come down so you're in the frame. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. All right. Honestly, it is going to be so good. You're going to love it. I'm cold. Can you eat the... I'm cold. It's good. It is good, right? All right. So we got Mama's stamp of approval. It's big better warm, but it's very good. Well, I'll heat it up now. Mm. This was the first installment of Repurposed with Robbie Ray. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this take place. I hope that you honestly, I, I really hope and pray with my entire heart that you guys go try this because oh, it is good. I'm going to be repurposing more leftovers in the future. I will likely be putting stuff in this blender again. I'm going to spend a nice amount of time getting the remnants of mashed potato out of here and that's great please don't forget to like and subscribe you subscribing to my channel gives me so much life just like these french fry mashed potatoes are giving me life so pretty please if you can find it in your soul to do that for me please give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and that's all folks i will catch you next time on repurpose with bobby ray from Robbie Ray and Friends. Never leave the house without your pride and your French fries. And I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye! Oh. It looks really gross, but let's try it. Mmm. Is that not excellent? It's good, right? So we got the mommy approval and the Jen approval. You guys better go make these french fries. Taste the Popeyes fries, but then also taste like the McDonald's sogginess of the fries. So it's like a great touch and the parsley. Yeah.